Welcome back to the Joy Age Kingdom. I'm Cade. In this episode of 4 Minutes of Fun, I'm really just going to kind of riff about what exactly about the metaverse, Web3, NFTs, digital collectibles that I'm so excited about that I think a lot of people probably would share, but it hasn't quite been said in a way where it kind of like makes sense where you're kind of like, oh, that is kind of how I think. I just like, haven't heard anyone say it like that. I'm hoping it's going to be that kind of video because in my head, I'm trying to like, I'm struggling to connect all those dots too. So I'm just going to turn on the camera and see what happens. So before we do, click that like button, subscribe to the channel, join the kingdom, follow me on Twitter. You guys know the deal. The goal of this channel is to instill the knowledge and confidence it's going to take to navigate this metaverse on your own one day so if that sounds good to you let's get into the video Don't forget, if you're an NFT project founder or Web3 company, that I do offer the Brutally Honest Review Series on my YouTube channel. There have been VCs and private investors that saw some of my review videos on certain projects and companies and reached out to them. And remember, you never know who is watching content. It's a different type of organic marketing that's going to attract a different, older, more mature crowd. And that is the reason I've been able to go full-time in Web3 because the opportunities I've been given because of the certain audience that I have. The meta went from quantity and volume and hype to quality. So what are you waiting for? Book a high quality audit with the brutally honest reviews. Again, link to my website down below in the description to get started. All right, four minutes of fun starting now. So what exactly am I excited about? I just watched the Disney Accelerator program YouTube video talking about how NFTs and digital collectibles are going to work in the Disney ecosystem. And it got me excited because I'm seeing all this innovative work and all these engineers, these, uh, these creatives kind of talk about the future of Web3 and using it to push and further build out their brand as an extra benefit to their already current uh, massive amount of supporters, right? And it it hit me because like I've been talking to more normal companies who are looking to jump into the web through space and it's gotten me think that like it depends what kind of project you're trying to launch, like how you want to use your NFTs to benefit your brand. It works a lot better if you already have a brand and you're now wanting to add in a web three element to it, which is the best way in my opinion. But anyways, what I'm excited about for the future after watching these Disney videos and like all these big Disney companies come in through their accelerator program and how they're talking about it. Science fiction, fictional movies, Star Wars, droids, things that are put in a futuristic setting. Why is it so hard for people to fucking like think that's possible? Like what is it about innovation that is so scary that people just like can't wrap their heads around? They just like can't even put themselves in the mindset to think that that's possible. And they're like the mind, the metaverse is something we'll never use. It'll never be there. And I'm just like, why? Why do you think that? Why, why do you really think that? Do you not see the proofs in the pudding? We are all on our phones 24-7. Why do you think this? And, and like, second, it's not bad. Like, it can be bad depending on how you look at it. I know a lot of people who have a lot of good come from social media. Like, there's always trade-offs, good and bad. Things that are good, things that fall off the plate, right? It's, it's all dependent on you. It's a, your skill set. It's your interests. How you present yourself to the world is going to give you opportunities or it's going to leave you uh, scraping for scraps at the bottom of the barrel kind of thing, right? Um, but with Web3, what's exciting to me is that, like, it's a world of innovation. It's a world of dreamers. It's where people congregate who don't think like everybody else. And they say, hey, I got an idea. And they partner with people with skills like coding or whatever and website development and branding and marketing. And they put together an idea and a brand. And either way, what is exciting about NFTs and Web3 is the fact that you can communicate these things with zero barrier to entry. How many times have you watched a YouTube video called how to use digital collectibles and NFTs for your company? You don't watch them, right? Because you're not looking for them. The people who are looking for that are business owners and CEOs. And let me tell you something. They are looking for that. And if you're not posting YouTube videos, if you're not posting TikToks, if you're not posting YouTube shorts, you are making a mistake. You're making a mistake because people are looking for that person to fill that spot on Teams. Telling you this for a fact because I'm in meetings all the time about this shit, right? Like they need people who understand stuff, nuances, different ways you can incorporate NFT technology. Now, just because you traded and you ran around NFT land a little bit, I don't think in my opinion that doesn't qualify you. I think you need to have intentional time where you're sitting around figuring out ways and actually using your critical thinking, using your networking and figure out ways where you're actually doing some value and you have something of substance to say. Otherwise, you're saying a whole bunch of nothing like a video like this, where I'm just kind of going off the top of my head and just saying words and trying to make sense of it as I go. If you can actually word out concepts that are difficult to explain and open up new ways of thinking and new creative endeavors, that's like all companies are really looking for 
they're just like looking for that they're looking for like how can we actually use this so it won't be a piece of shit nft where people will laugh at us and that's where you say hey well like if you don't care to be that kind of nft there's plenty of nft projects out there right now who don't participate in nft DJ and twitter and their floor is extremely high like it, it depends like what's important to you like do you want to participate in that or are you an art project and you don't actually give a shit about what's happening with whatever nft project pfp is going on over there uh or like who rugged or like what's going on with crypto like there's some projects where like that just isn't important to them so like for those projects they don't need to worry about it they don't have to like that's just not personally that's going to be part of their of their uh issues going forward of anything that's happening in the future of that project right and because of that there are just so many fucking ways to set yourself up and the, the real goal of this video is to get you if you're interested in web3 you're interested in working around innovation and working around people in innovation and you like conversations about this shit you have no more excuses to start making content. You can do it in a different, you don't have to do it in the way I'm doing it. You can have like articles, you can write stuff, like whatever it is. I think video is the best. I think it has the most ROI and it's just the best. I mean, let's just, we're in the digital world of visual digital shit video. That is the answer. If you really want to have an opportunity, make videos. It's going to be a lot easier for you, but you should be making content. And when you think of video ideas, articulate them in a good way, have a good hook. Get people to hire you. Get people to buy into your vision and say, we need to talk to that girl or guy. And you can do it. 100% you can do it. That is all I'm really talking about. I'm excited for the future of Web3. I think the metaverse, droids, AI, uh, virtual reality, robots, like all that shit, dude. I'm ready for it. I want it. Like, I don't know if that's like some evil, dark, like villain shit that's going to happen and like bite, come back to bite me in a few years. But like that stuff... I, I believe that's ca that's coming, bro. Like that that's coming. I don't know what else to say. Like that is coming, and it's 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 happening with or without you. So you might as well set yourself up in a way where you can make money, and participate in some of this shit. That's all I got today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter if you guys want to know more. Uh, I'm super active there. Um, and yeah, if you want to see more of me right now, click on these boxes on the side of me. Until next time, continue on your joy age, continue to learn, and be grateful you're alive watching this video.